Hello Influencers and welcome to another episode of Chats with Champions. This week I am joined by Darren Tay. Darren, uh, welcome on Chats with Champions. Thank uh, you. It's great to have you in Dubai. Uh, Darren is the world champion of public speaking uh, from 2016 and the author of Express to Impress. How are you doing, Darren? I'm doing great. And uh, having traveled to 18 different countries with my final stop in Dubai for the mid year of 2017, I must say it's a beautiful experience meeting amazing people like yourself. Yes. And thank, thank you. you so much for having me and to give value of to course. your viewers. Of course. And I've heard you speak. I mean, uh, first of all, fantastic uh, fantastic tips that you had on, on, on public speaking. Uh, Darren also has uh, teaches public speaking through an online program as well as uh, an institute that you have yes. in Singapore. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Okay, great. So, so Darren, uh, basically, I just wanted to ask you one question. And sure. what three tips would you have for someone that wants to communicate better as a speaker? Uh, a lot of the people out there uh, speak to many people. What three tips would you give them to be a better speaker? Sure. I think the first tip would be to understand that when it comes to public speaking, it yeah. really stems from good private thinking. So the, the, the thing is, many people would expect one to craft those speeches and be able to do it in a very quick period of time yeah. but what I say is that it's the mentality to be prepared to rewrite the script many different times because the great okay. speech is not written once but the great speech is rewritten a couple of times so you must have the mentality to continue to hone that craft test it before the audience before you get the finalized product okay second tip is to start as early as possible to have a story bank a message bank and a quotation bank because okay. many people assume that oh whatever that they read they can remember mm. I remember this quote which is that the faintest of pencil mark is even stronger in the, in the best of memories. So the thing is, while people may tend to think and assume that they can memorize and remember whatever they have read, yes. I think it's important for us to note that we should always be consistent in typing and keying it into our smartphone, into our story bank, message bank, and quotation bank. Yeah. And that would be wonderful. And the final tip would be to keep on accumulating stage mileage. Just keep on going, going, going. Yeah. I think that would be the best way to learn effective communication. No way to learn through swimming, or uh, it's like swimming and cycling. No way to learn just by watching a video on YouTube or by reading a book. You really have to do it. You have to get stuck in. Yeah. Right. Great. Right. Okay. Excellent. And and one final question. Sure. Um, for anyone out there wanting to be a champion of something, any other any further tips for you to yeah. be a champion? I think that what you need to do is that you can always look out for new mentors, even just by watching their videos or reading their books, because it helps shorten your learning curve exponentially. Yeah. Even for me now as a professional speaker, developing my own online and live programs, what I do all the time is that I still continue to learn from others. Because now is a day of not lack of information, but the overwhelming uh, influx of information. So we need to be able to clearly tap in and leverage on other people's time yeah. so that read their materials, we won't have to plow through the 63 million search results when we type how to be a better speaker in yes. uh, the Google search engine. So yes. I think that will definitely help. Okay, well, there you have it. Words of wisdom from the 2016 world champion of public speaking. Darren, thank you very thank much you. for coming on. And thank you for having me. we will see you on another episode.